Coming up next, a UFC welterweight division matchup. So you know what this fighter can do offensively, but defensively, I'll be surprised if he gets put on his back tonight. The takedown defense really jumps off the film. Great balance, a solid base, as quick a sprawl as anybody in this division. And a lot of fighters offensively waste a lot of energy trying to bring this fighter down. May want to try to beat him on the feet, because if you're going to employ the takedown, more often than not, this guy will sprawl and stuff your shot. This guy has incredible stamina and ridiculous cardio. If his opponent can't slow him down, he is not gonna be able to keep up with him. So here is Conor McGregor making the walk once again, and absolutely remarkable what he has accomplished since making his UFC debut in 2013. Still the only simultaneous two-division UFC champion the promotion has ever seen. That left hand, whether you're a featherweight or a welterweight, you don't want to get hit with the left hand of Conor McGregor. He is precise, a creative striker who has certainly put Dublin, Ireland, and SBG Ireland on the MMA map. Conor McGregor has that it factor, along with a fantastic and creative striking game, a very good ground game, and extreme confidence in himself. All these make for a fan-favorite combination. the tape for this, our main event of the evening. More than five years apart, some differences in height and reach. We send it inside the octagon, here's Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge, Mario Yamasaki. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC Walkerweight Division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a Muay Thai kickboxer and jiu-jitsu fighter, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 63 inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Buddy out of Ludlow, Massachusetts, Assassin! And now he his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 21 wins, three losses. He stands 5 feet 9 inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds, fighting! Instructions to you guys in the locker room. I want you guys to follow my orders at all times. Defend yourself at all times. Touch gloves. Good luck. I am very fired up for this fight. It's been a long time coming. The fans have been anticipating this for a long time. And it is gonna go down right now. Dateline Las Vegas, Nevada. We are underway here at the MGM Grand Garden Arena. Well, perhaps no fighter in the game understands how to control distance as well as this southpaw Conor McGregor. And you gotta be mindful of what's coming your way in the early going. This is a man who knocked out Jose Aldo in 13 seconds, has a three and a half second knockout to his credit as well. We'll see if McGregor can take advantage of his reach edge here in the early going. Joe, your thoughts on what we'll see in this matchup tonight? Conor McGregor has a very diverse striking arsenal. He has very good kicking technique. Good body punch there. Attempts a big hook to the head, but misses. The kick gets through. These guys throwing early. Joe, 
Just a slip there. Oh, he missed that kick. Well, he left his body wide open there for that hook shot, Joe, and he paid for it. He is leaning in. I know he's got the... Oh, oh he's landed some good shots he's here. He's got him hurt here. Oh, straight right. The left hook hits home. He hurt him with that hook. The kick lands. Jab. Trying to hammer that lead leg. Right hand forward now, switching to southpaw. He's orthodox now. Just over three minutes to go. That knee might have landed there. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Another nice knee there. He gets the Muay Thai clinch. Keep it busy here on the clinch. He's got the over-under now in the clinch. Conor McGregor gets double underhooks here in the clinch. Normally now he'll try to change levels and go for a takedown. Flips him over to side control. He's looking to pass. Excellent movement on the ground here, always trying to better his position. Now he's in half guard. And back to full guard. He's putting his hands down on the thighs. He's looking to pass. Takes him down. Under two minutes in the first round. Very nice sweep, winds up in his guard. Tries to get out of full guard and into half, but doesn't make it. Into full guard, nice reversal. doing an excellent job of stopping the ground pound. He hip escapes from the full mount. In the full guard here. Relentless pressure from the top by McGregor. Trying to spin to the back. He's now working from side control again. Pummels out of it. Staying busy in the clinch to avoid a separation. And these are horrific knees. That knee might have landed there. Right on the button. Oh, he did a nice job avoiding the clinch. He doesn't want to hang out there. Oh, again. Five minutes in the books. So the horn sounds after that round. Big knockdown in that frame. Great round from Conor McGregor. Yeah, that knockdown should have won him the round. It was a big moment in the fight. Let's take a look at it again here. And here it is again, another angle. Let's see it one more time. Brittany Palmer doing her thing as usual. Round two. At the end of that round, his opponent 
was clearly hurt. He's going to look to start this round off fast and try to pick up where he left off. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Absolutely. And he connects there. He's doing a really good job of timing these shots. He lands the head kick. Really threw a lot of power into that uppercut, but missed. How about that shoot? Oh, he landed it. Big power shot there. Well, that kick landed the body beautifully placed right underneath that elbow. Let's see if he makes the adjustments now defensively to avoid opening up that midsection to further damage by that kick. to move to half guard, but can't. And he reverses position. Mount, full mount. Look at this, he's out of it. In full guard. Beautiful job defending the position, nice. Excellent movement and transitions here on the ground. Staying busy. And he's going to try to take the back. Nicely done reversal. Oh, he found the target there. That'll work. That bruise on his torso is getting much worse. And busy as he looks to improve position here. He's back to his feet, but he's hurt. He's got the Muay Thai clinch. Got the over under here. McGregor's worked in that arm well. Double under hooks now. He's gonna try to take the back, I think. Excellent movement on the ground here. Constantly moving, constantly staying busy. That flips him over in the side control. Trying to pass there, but he gets stopped. Under two minutes now to go. He's doing a great job of moving and transitioning here on the ground. And he's back in the guard. Excellent posture. 90 seconds now to go in round two. Excellent movement here on the ground. Hip escape, nice hip escape. Excellent sweep. Take the back. There's the right. Maintaining control. Oh, veteran stuff there. He pummels under. Now he's got the underhook. And from here, transitions to the Muay Thai clinch. Oh, big knees to the body, Joe. Huge elbow there, Joe. He moves to the Muay Thai clinch. Got double underhooks. Oh, and again, he lands another takedown there, Joe. So really doing a nice job scoring points, and the takedowns are piling up. And he's not telegraphing his shot, and that's why he's been so successful. The opponent can't see it coming. 20 seconds to go round two. Excellent movement on the ground here, always trying to better his position. He's doing a great job of moving and transitioning here on the ground. Switching stances here. And that's the end of round number two. 
So he heads back to the stool after a dominant round. Great round there from McGregor. Huge knockdown. It was probably the most important aspect of that round and most likely won the round. Let's look at it from a different angle. And let's see that again. Thank you very much, Ariane. Celeste is here. Third round underway. He moved his right foot forward, back to southpaw. Such good movement in there. Seeing off with some vicious shots. Man, look at the size of that bruising on his oh! body. Oh! Oh! He's in big trouble. Very nice. Look at this takedown. Oh, reversal. up in guard. Neither fighter's really doing anything. Landed that one. Excellent movement and transitions here on the ground. Staying busy. It looks to me like he's trying to turn towards either side. Oh, worked hard to get up again, but he looks like he's compromised. And he goes to the knee to the body. Another knee lands. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Oh, hit the flying arm bar. Look at this, though. Oh! Oh, this is not good at all. And he's out. Wow, that arm was in deep. In full guard here. Slides him over, and nice reversal here. Well, just because you're on your back doesn't mean you can't throw offense. Staying busy here. You like to see that, Joe. Under three minutes remain in round three. Tries to pass, but can't. Over, under, now in the clinch. Works the double underhooks here. Well, he just continues to keep landing these takedowns. He's scoring a lot of points, but the opponent doing a pretty nice job getting back to his feet almost every time. They separate from the clinch. Oh, and he lands another strike to the body. Not a ton of real estate there, but he certainly found it. Constantly a moving target. Winded up on the right there to no avail. How about that shin? Misses a huge hook to the head. Hook to the head there by McGregor. Changes his stance. You'll see a lot of this from this fighter. Nice jab. Very good exchanges here. Conor McGregor with some nasty body shots. Oh, absolutely, Joe. These body strikes really starting to add up. And he lands a huge hook and counter. Oh, big left hook there. Oh, very nice. Hard straight punch. And that is a serious cut. Big left. He avoids the clinch. He got tagged there. And he's looking for that left. Well, the offense has been there. He is landing some good shots, but not really stringing them together and putting combinations on his opponent. He's got to mix up his strikes, change his tempo a little bit, and try to get his opponent out of there by landing more than just one strike at a time. Well, he heard him about that. Nicely timed sweep, and now he's in half guard. Oh, he gets reversed. Reversal here, and in the full guard. Nice right hand. Back to the guard position.
position. Nice sweep. Reversal and into full guard. Trying to take the back here. 20 seconds now remain in the round. Trying to pass here. He's in half guard. Waning seconds here of round number three. And that'll do it. 15 minutes in the books. Here's a nasty ground and pound strike. And here is another ground and pound strike. And here's another powerful ground and pound strike. What an action packed round. It looked like it almost ended on multiple occasions. We have arrived at the fourth round fight schedule for five five-minute rounds. Ooh, tagged him. Just misses with the right hook. Effective strike there. Oh! Whoa! He's in trouble, he's in trouble! Looking for the left hook. They are trading huge punches here. He's got him here. Wow! Oh, big left. Nice takedown. Perfectly timed sweep. And he's trying to pass. Position here. Reversal and into side control. He's got half guard. Mount again. He landed a left hand there. Hits the reversal here and into full guard. Oh, this is a good shot from the bottom. That's interesting. That's high level stuff. Good shot to the head. Both fighters get up now. Well, not sure if he's lighter on his feet or what it is, but these last couple of rounds, he's been far more aggressive, a lot more pressure. Oh, he's really starting to light him up now. And he continues to work the body here. Oh, effective strike there by Connor. Hand speed, man. Really threw everything into that uppercut, but fell short. Change into the southpaw stance now, Joe. Good combination. Beautiful right hand. Just missed with the left there. And lands a good shot. Oh, he has mastered the range here, timing his shots nicely. Slightly deflected. Ooh. Man, that cut has really opened up. That time he missed it. Oh, uppercut lands, and he leaned right into that one, Joe. Left the head wide open there for the taking. Oh! oh. 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 And just like that, the fight is over!
gigantic hook that got on the win. Yeah, man, crowd loving it. Just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. Let's take a look at that again. Great angle here. Bam! Out cold. So there he is as the celebration continues. A huge knockout for him here tonight. That could hold up as one of the better knockouts of the year. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Mario Yamasaki has called a stop to this contest at 3 minutes, 28 seconds of round number 4. Declaring the winner by knockout, the notorious Conor So the notorious Conor McGregor gets it done yet again. There is no doubt his future is in the UFC Hall of Fame, but his present is inside this octagon and still getting the job done. Dealt this man at your own peril. It seems no matter the challenge, Conor McGregor finds a way to get the job done, and he did so again tonight. Congratulations to SBG Ireland and the notorious Conor McGregor.